Okay, as promised, we're starting with breathing. And today, we, uh, Mui's in heat. Now, I did a heat video before, mm -hmm. and uh, there's, there's very specific behavior that we look for, but knowing your doe is key, okay? Because we caught Mui um, just from paying attention and knowing Mui, yeah. and she's just very subtle right now. Um, she will occasionally stand up on the fence and look at the bucks and yell, um, and a little bit of tail flagging, but she's not really, it's not a real intense, hard heat. Like you'll, you'll know when they're in heat, you'll, they'll just be yelling and yelling and yelling so much so that you, you'll almost be mad at them. You're like, Shh, be quiet. They're so obnoxious all night. Coyotes, everything, they don't care. So here we go. We're going to take Mui over to Jasper. Mui is a rock star. Mui is one of our uh, goats that we will push her beyond a year of producing. Look at this girl. Now we're going to have kids available from her. That's the thing. We're breeding them, freshening. In dairy, you call it, you're freshening your doe. So uh, if you want to reserve any kids from this doe, you can contact us through our uh, Facebook webpage. Um, or Facebook herd page, I'm sorry, Capra de Belly. Naomi would slow down a little bit so I could get up there on the side of it. There we go. That's true. She knows right where she's going, too. <clears throat> okay, so what I was getting at. Uh, earlier is since it's such a mild heat this could be a preheat she she could be uh, since it's so early in the fall yeah. and the other thing I want to mention is she has a little bit of um, discharge ah in the oh yeah so okay it's another song. now this is something you're gonna have to get used to if you're getting into goats is you're gonna have to get used to looking at goat butt and you're gonna have to get used to talking about goat butt um, with yeah. a straight face and not being grossed out, but you yep. can see the hay sticking to it and there's a little bit of creamy discharge right there. That is also an indication of heat. Yes. So here we go. Yep. The surest way to see if they're in heat is to put them with the buck. Yeah. Jasper is ready. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna try to, try to help without... Yeah. Maybe you can hold her. Okay. One of us has two hands. So we don't get the bucks out very often. Well, and they stand on the fence and bend it and stuff. There we go. There you go. Alright. Okay. Watch Jasper. Mm -hmm. Let's see, this is. Naomi now stinks. Naomi now stinks. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. That's just fine. Okay, see the tail flagging? Jasper immediately on point. Peeing. Flagging. So I think she is in heat. Oh yeah. She's not rejecting his advances. That's too dark. Now there's some things when you're breeding that you gotta watch for to make sure that it's done. And I'll try and get it. I got it. Oh. Okay, watch for his head. Watch his head. See it? His head go up. Back. Up and back. I'm not sure if that was a successful one, was it? I'm not really sure. I like to get two. We, we do go for two. It'll take a few minutes. Now Jasper is a buck out of Jinx that we AI'd with uh, a buck, or er, yeah. Olentangy Lance to Homa. Olentangy's Lance to Homa. Mui is is uh, one of our bestest dairy goats. She is out of. She's out of Mo. Mo Mazel. Uh, 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 Dawnwind, 
Ideal Moselle. Donwind Ideal Moselle. And Donwind Magnificent Clever. Clever. Yep. Magnificent Heat. No, she was in the heat. We were talking about a, a preheat and stuff. Um, we would have put them in here and she would really not be cooperative. She'd actually be running from And her tail would be down and they would just sit here and do circles because she's not ready. But that she is ready, the tail's up, she's flagging. Even though she's kind of walking away from them and leading them on a little chase, that's, that's a dope thing. Yep. Jasper. <laughs> He's not ready to go quite yet anyway. Needs a minute too. How old is Jasper? Is he four yet? Oh, Jasper is five. Dang. Jasper is the twin to juxtapose. Right. Jasper's a hunk of love. Oh, gosh. He's a solid chunk. Indeed. He's not too worried about about it either. He knows he's... <laughs> no, he's not terribly aggressive or mean or... No, Jasper's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. Yeah, I'd like him to get one more time in there, a better example of that head yeah. going up because that's really the key. his head. That, that was a no-go. That didn't happen. Didn't happen. No. Try to stay from the side from him. Yeah. She actually is kind of going out of heat in that she's... See the head? Yeah. And okay. she's walking away from him. And that's it. Some people will put their goats in here and, and leave them for the day. We like to verify because we don't do pregnancy testing. Um, we'll do this. If this doe comes into heat again in 21 days, then she didn't take. If she doesn't come back into heat in 21 days, she's, she's pregnant. And then we can calculate her due date based on 150 days. a really good time have a really good time frame for having kids right should uh, there's a goat calculator is there is it on a website there's a, a couple of them um, basically if you type in goat gestation calculator I can't remember the one that I use all the time it just it's the one that pops up American Goat Association I think it is um, has a goat calculator on there and enter I, the date that they were bred and it spits you out a hundred and 155 days. We we look at ours at 155 because all of our does are never early. Mm -hmm. Always a few days late. Generally two. Yep. Or eight, if you measure. And if, uh, you know, one of the things about dairy goating or any goating really is keeping records. And if you keep records of your doe and how if she's three, three days late, if she's three days past 150 days, one year, typically she's going to be about the same the next. And uh, each doe will be a little different, but they usually uh, are, are about the same. And you can look back in your records and, and even be more accurate that way. But I think that's it. We've got, we've got two... Two occurrences. 
making. And that's it. We'll take this dough back out and yep. we're done. That's uh, breeding 101.